welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Today I'm going to be doing the latest travel news part one so uh, let's jump right into it. Now according to breakingtravelnews.com where you can find more information about um, the latest news and it's got other travel updates on there as well and um, these are seven fantastic new brand new exciting travel facts and um, most of them are good and um, so let's fire away now at uh, number one klm which is the dutch airline submits a plan for 3,004 billion euros bailout to the Dutch government so fingers crossed they'll get it and um, KLM Royal Dutch Airlines has submitted a restructuring plan to the Netherlands Ministry of Finances the carrier seeks to overcome the slowdown in travel surroundings the COVID-19 pandemic so fingers crossed I really hope they get the funding um, obviously because it'll get more people back in work and obviously um, another airline doesn't go into administration or another business just say so fingers crossed they do get it and um, number two virgin atlantic um rolls out covid19 testing to its crew and um, launched on flights to shangri-la in china and hong kong the airline plans to extend the trial uh, to barbados later in october 2020 before a water roll out to test operating crew at least once per month so it again it is really good um, and they are trying to look after their workers airline and crew as much as they can so I really hope it goes well for them fingers crossed anyway and uh, I wish them all the best, Virgin Atlantic. Now, number three is Costa Esmeralda to return to sailing this week. That's the latest cruise news. Esmeralda, it's a lovely name. And I think it's a lovely name for a cruise ship. So, um, again, I hope it does well returning to sailing this week again that's the latest cruise news now number four Qatar Airways is to offer 140 global destinations this winter that is fantastic news for Qatar the country and Qatar Airways so people again from Qatar and other countries can visit Qatar and from 124 global destinations so um, that's really good news and I hope at Qatar Airways all the best and number five intercontinental London Park um, also or London Park Lane returns to the market it has reopened to guests now being able to stay at the property for the first time since the spring so that's really good news for the hotel chain so 
um, I hope it goes as well as possible this week and um, numbers will eventually resume. Um, number six, at all, rene renewal figures fall shortly, shortly in September. Um, again, that's the bad news um, that companies are not getting at all renewal, uh, unfortunately. Um, again, I really hope, um, again, at all can some way improve the service and then more companies will sign up, um, maybe um next year now at number seven a lot tokyo guns a hotel uh, brand um is opening in japan for the first time so good luck to that brand a lot tokyo and i wish them all the best so thank you for watching please like and share um, if you haven't already done so and um, I'll see you in my next lifestyle video which is going to be tomorrow and it's going to be the latest products that I've brought from Boots tomorrow uh, on Wednesday I'm my next travel series is going to be the latest travel news worldwide part two so I am really enjoying at the moment being I'm um, off work and I'm able to get again more things done this week so again effort to everybody thank you for watching please take care if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um, I'm looking to get to 2000 subscribers as soon as possible so I hope everybody has a fantastic day wherever you are in the world and again I'll see you um, on my lifestyle channel tomorrow at 6.30 or my travel watching my travel channel on Wednesday also at 6.30 so bye for now everybody